Hello my beautiful makeup lovers! Thank you so much for tuning in with me today and a very warm welcome to my channel. Today we're going to review together the Hive collection from Lethal Cosmetics. Um, this is how it looks like. First we're going to get into some info about the collection itself, then I'm going to show you some swatches, then we're going to do a look together and in the end I'm going to tell you my final thoughts on this collection. Um, I'm going to leave timestamps down below so you can find your way easier to the part of the video that interests you the most or is the most relevant to you and you don't have to go through all the fuss before. And um, yeah, so if you want to see this, let's get started and stay tuned. Okay, let me first give you a little bit of info on the brand itself, Liefer Cosmetics. Liefer Cosmetics is a Berlin-based indie brand, Berlin, Germany, um, that has mainly single eyeshadows, liquid lipsticks and lip glosses. This is their range at the moment when I'm filming this. And they um, are vegan and cruelty free, certified by Peter, in case this is something you're looking for. So you can buy them without any hesitation. And they pretty much sell internationally. So if you go to the website and you can select your destination, you have a pretty long list. So I'm not sure if they actually deliver to every country in the world, but to a lot of them at least. So um, yeah, so you don't have to worry that you cannot order from them or anything. And for most countries, I believe they offer kind of like this deal where when you spend a certain amount of money, you get uh, free shipping. So at least to the Spain, to the US, UK and Germany, they offer this. So I'm pretty sure they also offer it for a lot of other countries. And they do also have some international retailers, at least I know the one in Spain, which is glamtown.es, but I'm pretty sure they also have one in the UK and in the US. I'm going to link all of them down below as well as the Leafy Cosmetics website, so in case you get interested by the products, you can find your way to them in the, for you, most convenient way. Um, okay, <laughs> let's get actually to the collection. So this is the collection. That's how it looks like from the inside. This is a collection consisting of 12 single eyeshadows. I hope you can see them properly here, how they show up. And you can see um, they are like, I hope you can see and tell that they are singly popped in. Here you could move them around if you want to. I don't want to now because I have really long nails and I don't want to smush up the shades but you can move them around in there so you can arrange them in the way that you want because you get all of them singly and you get this magnetic um, palette with it that also has a mirror with it and you can organize them in the way you want them in there. So the whole collection, if you buy the whole collection including this palette will cost you 58 euros and this is I think a pretty okay price for like single like 12 single eyeshadows from an indie brand including the magnetic palette and but you also can buy like separated collections like you can buy the collection that's called entomology collection i had to write this down i could not remember for the life of it for, for for the life of my for the life of me you know i just couldn't remember um how this was called um the entomology collection which is basically the greens and the browns of this collection in six so six shadows so you have for example this green this one here or this dark brown here that are within this collection and then they have the other six shadows which are not in there which is called the metamorphosis collection and this basically has like the oranges the purple the blue in it and each of those collection will cost you 30 euros and if you buy those singly so if you're just interested like in one or two colors each shade will cost you if you buy them singly six euros so that's kind of the prices you are dealing with and i think they made it pretty good you know cuts there so you can really find your way to the colors that you actually want like if you want the whole thing like me you get a pretty good discount i think like if you would buy all of this together including the palette i think you would spend around 80 euros 84 something euros on the whole thing and you can buy it for 58 so they give you pretty good discount rather than you would buy those singly and yeah so that's kind of all the info I wanted to give you on the collection itself. Um, I'm going to show you now the swatches since those will show the colors a bit better, I think. Then we're going to jump into the look and after this you will hear my thoughts on this collection. Ceases from now 
so first I'm gonna go into this color here um, I'm gonna leave on the screen which color I reach for and then I'm gonna take it on a very dense little like fluffy brush fluffier dense brush and I'm gonna lay it down like on the outer part of my crease um, and pack it on and I'm not gonna blend it straight and that's what we're gonna do Now we're gonna go into this kind of like I don't know I would describe it as like a yellow mustard green if this is like this is how I would describe this color in this one as well I'm gonna leave again on the screen which color it was that I used and I am going to put it like now pulling it like in the same technique like I put this down I'm gonna put this down pretty much until here I think um, just opaquing it not blending it is opaquing a word? I don't think so. But I hope you know what I mean. Okay, now we're gonna go into this nice bright orange over here, which is also a matte one. I'm gonna leave again the shade name here. And I'm going to, you know, finish down the crease down here, putting it there like I laid down the other ones with the same exact brush. Now I'm gonna go back in with this color here that I did the middle with. I'm gonna work on the edges between the different colors. Now we're gonna go into this kind of beige color here. Um, this one, it's really reflective, I'm sorry about this. It's like kind of a beige base color, let's say. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and blend out the edges of the whole thing that we just laid down, but not too much, because I want this look to be a bit, you know, stronger. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with a bit of fluffier blending brush into this color here, the dark brown. I'm just gonna put it in the outer V to get a bit of more depth there. And I'm gonna use a bit of fluffier blending brush. Okay, now with the shader brush, I'm going to go into this beautiful shimmer green that we have here. And um, I'm gonna lay it like almost all over my lid. And I'm gonna wet my brush right. Now I'm gonna go back in with this dark brown here just to clean out a little bit the outer area outer area and make everything like come together a bit better with the shimmer. Okay now we're gonna start off the under eyes and actually I'm just gonna do the exact gradient that I did up here. I'm also gonna do down there. So using this orange and this green and this green together just starting with the orange with a muddy green and then the darker green and then I'm gonna darken up the outer part um, a bit with this dark brown. And now we're gonna do the last step with using this color here as an inner corner highlight and as a bravo highlight. And I'm gonna wet my brush for that. Okay, so this is all the eyeshadow that I laid down for this look and now I'm gonna finish off the look with mascara and maybe some liner and a waterline, let's see. And then I'm gonna be back with you. 
Okay, so this is the finished look. I did finish it off with the Lash Princess False Effect Mascara from Essence. Um, a Linda Halberg crayon in the color um, Likeable Mood. And also a NARS Velvet Lip Glide in the color Camden Girls. There you go. Um, let me zoom you in a little bit so you can see what's going on on the eyes and you can get a bit better impression of what I did here. So after you have your info, your swatches and the look that I did with the Hive collection of Lethal Cosmetics, let's now jump into the final thoughts on this collection. So when it comes to the thoughts that I have on this collection, they pretty much reflect my thoughts on other Lethal Cosmetics products that I tried. I have at the moment, I believe, three videos um, about Lethal Cosmetics on my channel. So two of them also reviewing or first impression of eyeshadows from them and one of them with their last resort lip sets. And my thoughts are exactly the same on this collection. It's a really good eyeshadow. I really love the formula. I think it's really nice. I love Lethal Cosmetic eyeshadows. What can I say? Otherwise I wouldn't have bought this. So basically, um, I think that they have like a really nice formula when it comes to the mattes in the, ma in the matter that it's not straight super super pigmented but you can build it up really nicely um, from the pigment without that the pigment gets patchy at least to my standards and I really like that I think you can make like a subtle colorful look you can make a um, very impactful colorful look with those I really like this so I think they perform really well I don't think they differ in quality anything from the original or from the other shades that they released so far. So if you have already Lethal Cosmetic eyeshadows and this kind of story speaks to you and they, you love your current Lethal Cosmetics eyeshadows, you will be really happy with this, I think. So that's, I, I think I can almost guarantee it. On that. Let's not just say that, but I really think, I don't think they really changed something of the formula. The only thing is that the scent is away, but I believe they did not change it. At least I couldn't find a big difference in the kind of um, ingredients that they use, just the colors, of course. But the main ingredients are pretty much the same, I believe, but um, so the formula is the same. And I really like this. I think it's in a beautiful color story as well. It's this kind of grungy color story, you know, with the dirty colors, um, except of these two maybe that I really love. I think this is a really beautiful color story in itself. I think it's really versatile also. You can go pretty neutral here, but you can also go really colorful and impactful here. I think it's a really, really good color story in a sense of um, how you combine those together. It, at least to me it's pretty inspiring. Um, so what, what else would I want to say? I'm looking down here because that's the notes that I have and I cannot, I you know, I always need my notes otherwise I feel unconfident. <laughs> so um, what else I wanted to say? Um, I also love that you can change the layout of those really like it's like a collection that comes in singles, so you can pop them on in there yourself in the order that you want. And honestly, I just popped them in. You know, I, I did not really actually think about it. I think they will come more with time. Um, since I have my Lethal Cosmetic eyeshadows, the other ones that I have also like just, you know, always switching between the Lethal Cosmetic palettes that I have. So I think that's really nice um, that you can put them as you want because that kind of gives it, you know, a bit of more versatility without being more shades, if this makes sense. And otherwise, I also really like, I'm looking down here, I'm sorry, but sometimes I'm sitting in front of the camera, I'm like, what else do I want to say, what else do I want to say? And before I forget it, I'd rather write it down and look at it, and that's it. Um, also, exactly, the blendability. I really love the blendability on these shades, like, I love that um, you can just blend them out straight if you want to, or you can choose to use the technique that I used today to just pack it on and then just blend the edges. This is I prefer to do this with these ones because I think they have a really nice color, but you can also just blend them straight out 
does not really um, of course then it will not be that intense but it does not uh, turn out patchy or anything so I feel like they favor a lot of techniques I feel like personally I think the most beautiful they are when you use the technique that I did today it's just a personal preference but it's definitely not a subtle preference let's say but if you're more into subtle things you can make that still work with this collection um so I really love Lifa Cosmetics. I think they extended their brand, their, their whole brand really nicely with this collection. And I'm a bit biased maybe sometimes when it comes to Lifa Cosmetics because I really enjoy them. Actually, I did film a 2018 favorites video, which I did not post because my whole teeth are full of lipstick. And that's nothing somebody wants to see. So I did not post it in the end, but I actually included Lifa Cosmetics as my favorite uh, one of my favorite eyeshadows that I had in 2018 because I really really love them and yeah so there's just a few notes I want to give to you in case that it's nothing that borders me but maybe it could be bordering others so if dusty grungy colors are not for you this is not the collection from them for you then maybe check out some of the other colors but I don't think that then this will be a collection for you anyway just you know heads up like you have to be into a bit of like grungier looks like I would if you're not into grungy colors but you still are appealed to this collection I would say like pick up these two this shimmery green and this uh, bright orange and this will be the more um, non-dusty colors really good English Bianca really good English anyway you know what I mean <laughs> so um, as well um, I think if you're really into colorful shades on the other hand then maybe this beige honestly does it even really pick up it's like a bone color beige personally i don't need this in a collection i don't think it's super necessary in a collection but i guess why it's there is to make the whole collection more user friendly i i get that yes to me personally i would have loved if this would have been like a, a dirty bright like a dirty light purple that would have been really pretty I think that would have been really nice in the collection or even like a dirty uh, yellow like a mustard yellow that would have been really nice as well but anyway I'm, I'm okay with it being there I think it's fine um, that it's there I even use it sometimes to blend out the edges so totally okay for me but just heads up that in, in case you are hating on beiges there's a beige in there and last is that you get Quite a lot of kick up with the mats in the pan which I personally I don't care at all I don't know why people are always so bored by kick up in the pan I'm not and yeah so just be aware of this um, in case it's something that borders you so this is pretty much it my thoughts on those I would totally recommend this I'm currently since one week on a low buy and I think if this wouldn't have been released last year but this year I would still go ahead and buy this um, as one of the two items that allow that I allow myself per month to buy now and if I would lose this even I think because I love Lethal Cosmetics so much <laughs> I think I would actually also dedicate one of the two items that I can buy per month to rebuy this because I really really like it I think it makes a really nice addition to the other colors that they have in their collection which I have like for sure like 90% of them and I think they make like really nice additional like they make sense to add those colors there and yeah so I think Glyphor Cosmetic has a really nice eye for color and I would recommend this collection without any hesitation to everybody who likes this kind of color story of course as always is very um, preferential on the colors that you like on your eyes so that's about it this was my review of the hive collection from leafa cosmetics i hope you enjoyed it please leave me a comment down below on what you think um, of the collection do you think of picking it up or do you actually have it how do you like it and what are your experience in general with leafa cosmetics i would love to know since i love them so much i would like to see if other people love them as well <laughs> so yeah and i would be happy to i would be happy to read those comments I have to finish my sentences. Anyway, please give this video a thumbs up if you like this kind of videos. Consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. So I can see you here to my next video. Bye bye!